I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal Dimortuarite. Now Dimortuarite is a dark blue or an indigo crystal and often when we think of crystals this colour we think of intuitive abilities but Dimortuarite actually has quite the opposite effect. Dimortuarite allows you to focus on the task at hand, to clarify information, to comprehend information and to categorise and to get full understanding of whatever the issue is in front of you. In fact, if you need to take control of your life and get everything in order, Demortuarite is a crystal for you. It also encourages you to take it easy and not be thrown out by all the stresses of life, to just enjoy life, to expand, but also to look after your responsibilities. Demortuarite works really well on the third eye chakra, especially when it's overactive. Now when your third eye chakra is overactive, you may feel overwhelmed or mentally exhausted. Think about when there's too much going on and too much information coming in. This is an overactive third eye and we need to calm it down. So grab your Demortuarite and place it on your third eye chakra and start to visualize the most beautiful, perfect indigo color there. And then keep this crystal with you until you start to feel a bit more level-headed and that your mind's a bit more in focus. Demortuarite is great in this modern world for helping you get organised and get all your ducks in a row. If you need to tidy your house and find a place for everything, then use your Demortuarite to help you keep the house neat and tidy. It also works really well with lists, so write a list of all the things you need to achieve and keep your Demortuarite nearby to make sure that you start ticking off that list and getting things done. Demortuarite also helps your mind to get everything in order, so it's great for overcoming things like stage fright or phobias or shyness or depression. Demortuarite can be really good for people that constantly have to deal with crisis or trauma. So emergency workers is a great, um, are really helped by working with Demortuarite. Demortuarite is really good for disaster zones as well. If you're in a disaster zone, then keep Demortuarite there to keep you focused on what needs to be done. And if you can't be there, then grid it around a map or send the energy of Demortuarite to that area to help the people in the area focus and get through the disaster time. As you start to get your life in order and your space in order, Demortuarite can then be used for the mind. It's a really great study stone. It allows you to focus on what you're really interested in studying and to make sure that you're not getting distracted by other things when you're trying to study or do your homework. It's also really good if you're trying to learn another language. So make sure you carry your Demortuarite with you when speaking foreign languages to make sure nothing gets lost in translation. Occasionally I will cleanse my Demortuarite with water when I'm looking for that more magical or intuitive ability. But the main way that I cleanse this crystal is using the element of air, because that's to do with the mind and that's where Demortuarite really has its major influence. So on the next windy day, leave your Demortuarite outside for a nice cleanse. If it's not a windy day and you need to cleanse it immediately, then simply leave it or pass it through some intense smoke for a little while. Now when I'm working with Demortuarite and wanting to learn or study or focus the mind, there are three different animal guides that all teach very different lessons, but all work really well with Demortuarite. They are the monkey, the mouse, and the meerkat. So the meerkat teaches you about attention and making sure that you're paying attention to what you need to focus on. The monkey is about curiosity, and if we don't have a curiosity, then it's really hard to learn. And mouse is about detail. So you may be drawn to one of these animals, or one of these lessons may be one you need to focus on. So meditate with that animal and your Demortuarite to get that lesson. The plant that I use is almond. Now, uh, sitting under an almond tree can help to clear your mind and help you to be successful. In fact, there's an old myth that says if you climb to the top of an almond tree, it'll help you to be successful in your business ventures. But you can also use any part of the almond, whether it be the nut, the flower, the essential oil is really nice, and that helps you to overcome anything that's standing in your way as a mental block. And especially, this is great for addictions. The planet that works really well with Demortuarite is Saturn. Saturn is all about self-discipline and so is Demortuarite. So Saturday is the power day for this crystal, so you do all your major workings with it on that day. Ideally, to really get the full effects of Demortuarite and to start getting your life in order, you need to have it around 24-7. So wear it or carry it during the day, ideally as a pendant or as earrings, because it's then it's close to the mind and the third eye. And then at night, slip it into your pillow slip. I'd love to hear about your experiences with Dumortuarite, so please feel free to leave a comment in the section below sharing your experiences. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. 
I'm Adam Barrowlay. Blessed be.